Hello and welcome back to Potions Class. My name is Lucia and today I have a cocktail that is crafted for my bestie because it's her birthday. Happy birthday, Soraya! I hope you have an amazing one. So recently she made a request for a Sakura cocktail for spring and of course I had to accommodate. Sakura or cherry blossoms symbolize rebirth, optimism, and mortality since their beauty only lasts about two weeks before they fall to the ground. Not gonna lie, it's pretty hard to find Sakura anything anywhere outside of Japan. But luckily, I'm not too far off from J-Town and they actually sell a salted pickled Sakura. Now that does sound awful as a cocktail flavor, but if you wash off the salt, it actually tastes quite pleasant. It's like a light, savory cherry flavor. And if you've ever had Sakura mochi before, then you know exactly what this tastes like. Turn the Sakura into a sweet syrup and now we are in business. So without further ado, let's craft our sparkling Sakura Spritzer. So these are the ingredients for today's potion. You will need 3 ounces of rosé wine, 1 and a half ounces of Sakura syrup, 3 dashes of Angostura bitters, and 4 and a half ounces of tonic water. So first, grab a mixing glass. Fill it with ice, then add in rosé wine, sakura syrup, and Angostura bitters. Stir until cold, and strain into your preferred glass. Top it off with tonic water. And add in a few sakura flowers as garnish. And ta-da! Sparkling sakura spritzer is complete. Taste test time! Alright, so let's see if a cocktail made with salted pickled sakura actually tastes good. Cheers! Hell yeah, it tastes good! I like that this actually does taste like sakura. It's light and bubbly and very easy to drink. It reminds me a bit of Italian soda. Um, but it has a bit more of a gentle floral flavor to it and it's also less sweet. The tonic water gives it a bit of a citrusy note to it which helps brighten up the drink. And the bitters really gives this drink more depth. Um, without it, it just feels like it's lacking something. So it really helps balance out the drink. It does turn your drink from pink to more of a coral peach color, but I think that it's not a step you want to skip because it really makes the drink. But you can probably get away with using even just a dash or two of the bitters. I was a bit heavy handed with the bitters this time, so it actually turned out a bit darker than how I originally tested it. But yeah, don't skip the Angostura, but you can definitely use a little less of it. And I know on camera these flowers don't really look like much, but in person it's actually quite nice to see them just floating around in your drink. But the best part is that they're edible and they're actually quite tasty. It gives you a burst of sakura while you're drinking this drink. Just make sure you wash off most of the salt from the sakura though, or else you're gonna end up with a strangely salty drink. But yeah, this drink is very refreshing and I can see it being a really good option for a cherry blossom viewing picnic, for example, with your friends and family. Overall, I'm giving this an A plus because this turned out way better than I thought it would. So yeah, Soraya, I hope you like your Sakura cocktail. And if anyone tries this out, please let me know if you like it or if you'd make any changes to it. Well, that's the end of today's class. Thank you for joining me and I hope you get to enjoy some cherry blossoms this year. If you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave it down in the comments below. And like and subscribe for some more awesome potions. And until next time, class is dismissed. Stay magical!